Chapter 9, Lesson 3, Area of Trapezoids. Today you will learn how to use the order of operations when finding the area of a trapezoid, and you will learn how to use the dimensions of the trapezoid to find its area. A trapezoid has two bases, base 1 and base 2. The height of a trapezoid is the distance between the bases. When finding the area of a trapezoid, it's important to follow the order of operations. In the formula, the bases are to be added before multiplying by one half of the height. So if you take a look here, your two bases, base 1 and base 2, are parallel. That means if these lines were to extend, they would go on forever and never ever intersect. That's when you know those are the bases, when they're parallel. This side on the left and this side on the right are not the bases because if I were to extend them, they'd intersect. So bases are parallel. The height is the distance between the bases. Find the area of the trapezoid. We can label this the first base, five the second base, and seven inches the height. Area equals one half height times base one plus base two. And this comes from the formula here on the previous page. <clears throat> Plug everything in you know. Area equals one half times seven. Our base one is twelve. Our base two is five. It doesn't matter which one you label base one and base two. So according to the order of operations, we need to take care of what's inside parentheses first. The 7 is by itself. There are no operations. However, 12 plus 5 is an operation. We have addition happening. So we need to do that first. Area equals 1 half. I'm going to put this 7 over 1 because I know I'm going to be multiplying by fractions. And then 12 plus 5 is 17, and I'm also going to put that over 1. Now it's just like when we were solving for area of a triangle. We're going to multiply all the numerators and then multiply all the denominators. 1 times 7 is 7 times 17. Let's do that off to the side. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4 is 11. So my numerator is 119. And my denominator, 2 times 1 is 2 times 1 is still 2, so we have area equals 119 over 2, and we still need to simplify, so let's divide that out. 2 goes into 11 5 times, which is 10. 2 goes into 19 9 times, which is 18. Put a decimal point and a 0. 2 into 10 5 times. So the area equals 59.5, and our units, inches squared. <clears throat> Letter B, base 1, base 2, and the height. Area equals 1 half height times base 1 plus base 2. Area equals 1 half, the height is 9.8, and the two bases are 12 and 7. Area equals 1 half, bring down the 9.8, and I'm going to make it a fraction. And then 12 plus 7 is 19, and I'm also going to make that a fraction. I need to multiply the numerators. 1 times 9.8 is 9.8, and then we need to do 9.8 times 19. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 times 9 is 81, plus 7 is 88, placeholder. 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 9 is 9, add them up. 1 behind the decimal point, so 1 goes behind the decimal point. We have 186.2 as the numerator. 
The denominator, 2 times 1 is 2, times 1 is 2. And our last step here is to divide 2 into 186.2. 2 into 18 is 9 times. 2 into 6 is 3 times. And 2 into 2 once. So 93.1 meters squared. <clears throat> Base 1, base 2, and height. Area equals 1 half height times base 1 plus base 2. Area equals 1 half times 4 over 1. And we add our two bases together, 4.8 plus 2.5. We need to take care of that addition first, and since it's decimals, I'm going to do it off to the side and line up those decimal points. 13, 7. So area equals 1 half times 4 over 1 times 7.3 over 1. Multiply the numerators. 1 times 4 is 4. And 4 times 7.3, we'll do that off to the side, is 29.2. 2 times 1 is 2, times 1 is 2. And our division, 2 into 2 once, 2 into 9 4 times. And 2 into 12 is 6 times. Oops, that's a 2. <clears throat> so we get area equals 14.6 meters squared. Letter D. Base 1. Base 2. And the height. <clears throat> Area equals 1 half height times base 1 plus base 2. Area equals 1 half times 0 0.3 times 0 0.5 plus 1. Now you may be able to do 0 0.5 plus 1 in your head, but just in case, you need to add a decimal point to 1 so that it lines up with our 0.5 and we get 1.5. Area equals 1 half times 0 0.3 over 1 times 1 1.5 over 1. 1, now to multiply the numerators, 1 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.3 times 1 1.5. That makes 15. 4, we've got 1, 2 behind the decimal point. So the numerator is 0 0.45. And then the denominator, 2 times 1 is 2, times 1 is 2. We'll do the division. 2 goes into 4 twice. 2 goes into 5 twice. Add a 0. 2 goes into 10 5 times. So the area is 0 0.225, and our unit is feet squared. <clears throat> now we can use the same formula to find the missing height. So here we don't know the height, but we know base 1 and base 2. It says the trapezoid has an area of 108 square feet. Find the height. We're still going to start with the same formula. But this time we know the area. It's 108. So I'm going to plug that in for A, area. 
equals one half. The height I don't know, so I leave it h, but the two bases I do know, 15 plus 12. We're still going to start the problem off the same way as we did before, by adding what's inside the parentheses. Bring everything else down, 108 equals one half height, and 15 plus 12 is 27. Now multiplication is commutative, which means I can multiply in any order. So I'm going to multiply these two fractions together. 108 equals 27 times 1 is 27, 2 times 1 is 2, and then I'll bring down the h. We need to take care of this first. So divide 2 into 27. 2 goes into 2 once. 2 goes into 7 three times. Add a decimal point and a 0. 2 into 10, 5. So we get 108 equals 13.5 times the height. Now we have a simple one-step equation we can solve. I have 13.5 times h, so to get rid of it, I'm going to divide both sides by 13.5, which leaves me with h alone. And now let's divide 13.5 into 108. I need to move my decimal places, points. 135 into 1,080, let's try six times, which is too little. Let's try eight times, which works out perfectly. So our answer is eight feet, and it's not feet squared, because we are finding the height, not area. Only area has square units. Let's try another example. This time we're not given a picture, but we're given everything we need. So area equals one half height times B1 plus B2. Area given to me is 24 equals one half. I don't have the height, but the two bases are 4 and 12. 24 equals one half height. And 4 plus 12 is 16, so let's put 16 over 1. Again, I can multiply in any order, so I'm going to multiply the two fractions together. Bring down the 24 equals. 1 times 16 is 16. 2 times 1 is 2. Bring down the h. I'm going to take care of this first, so I get a nice simple equation. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now I have my equation and can solve. I have 8 times h, so to get rid of it, I'm going to divide by 8 on both sides, and I get a height of 3 centimeters. Again, we're just giving the, given the numbers, so area equals 1 half height times base 1 plus base 2. Area this time is 21 equals 1 half height times 2 plus 5. 21 equals 1 half height. I need to take care of that first, which is 7 over 1. Multiply your two fractions together. 21 equals 7 over 2. Bring down the H. Let's do that division. 2 goes into 7 3 times, add a decimal point and 0. 
2 goes into 10 five times. So 21 equals 3.5 H. Now I can solve a simple one-step equation. Divide both sides by 3.5 H equals Move the decimal over. Let's try by 6. 30. Works out perfectly. So our height is 6 yards. Last example. Now this one actually is just asking us to find the area. So it says the shape of Osceola County, Florida resembles a trapezoid. Find the approximate area of this county. So in this one, we're just finding the area. We have our height, our base 1, and base 2. Area equals 1 half height times base 1 plus base 2. Area equals 1 half times 51 over 1 times 48 plus 16. Area equals 1 half times 51 over 1 and 48 plus 16. We'll do that off to the side is 64. Area equals, we need to multiply our numerators. 1 times 51 is 51. 51 times 64. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 6 is 6. Placeholder. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 6 is 30. Plus 2 is 32. So we get 3,264 all over. 2 times 1 is 2, times 1 is 2. Let's do that division. Two goes into three once. Two goes into 12 six times. Two goes into six three times. And two goes into four twice. So our answer is area equals 1,632 square miles.